Hello, I'm Katrina M. Kraft, and you've just tuned into the Craft More Cash podcast, where finance meets innovation and strategy becomes reality. With over two decades navigating the twists and turns of tax strategies and business strategies, I've had the incredible opportunity to work with startups and Fortune 500 companies alike, crafting pathways for businesses to grow and thrive. I've tailored my expertise to serve the unique needs of coaches, creators, marketers, and real estate investors. I'm on a mission to equip business founders with the financial savvy they need to grow real wealth. So buckle up and let's dive into the world of financial success, innovative strategies, and the stories that make us all want to keep pushing forward. Welcome to Craft More Cash. Let's make wealth building simple, fun, and effective. Ready to transform your financial journey? Let's start crafting. Hello, I'm Katrina M. Kraft, business profitability coach and tax strategist. Today, I want to talk about cost segregation study. On the cost segregation study, remember that it provides you significant tax savings because it accelerates depreciation. It does not eliminate depreciation when you sell because you have to recapture, but it is a great tax deferral tool and an increase in cash flow tool. You will get your cost segregation study done. And when you receive that tax refund, you are able to now invest that money in another property or pay off debt or invest in other types of assets that you're interested in. So that money is able to grow instead of not taking the accelerated depreciation now. So it's the time value of money that we're considering. So let's assume that the taxpayer is married. I'm gonna give you an example of the difference and how we can use it, whether you have a long-term rental or if you have a short-term rental. In both cases, we're going to assume the taxpayer is married with a household adjusted gross income of $350,000. The taxpayer has a short-term rental residential home with a basis of $1 million. The taxpayer is not a real estate professional. So in this case, they are not a real estate professional and we're looking at short-term rental. Understand the cost segregation study. It's going to break down the components of the property to in various classes. So it's going to allow various depreciation. It's going to allow faster depreciation on the classes. Instead of doing 27.5 years depreciation on the tax return, it's going to break down certain classes and reclassify them into five year, seven year, and 15 year property, which is going to allow more accelerated depreciation. After you reclassify the components, we're going to assume 15% of the property is five-year property. So that's 150,000, which would include things like appliances and carpeting. 10% of the property, 100,000, we're going to put that into seven-year property. That's office furniture, some landscaping, things like that. 15% of the property, 150,000 of the 1 million, we're going to put that into 15-year property, sidewalks, outdoor lighting, and that leaves 60% of the property depreciated over the usual 27.5 years. So you can see how it's accelerating depreciation in certain areas. Let's calculate that depreciation. So the five-year property is 30000 per year, seven-year, 14285 first year, 10000 On the 15-year property, you're going to have 10,000 per year and then you're left on the 27.5 year that's 600,000 you get 21818 per year that means the total first year depreciation without the cost segregation study if you were to take that 1 million and divide it by 27.5 years that's 36,364 in depreciation that's without cost segregation study but in the first year depreciation with cost segregation, you would receive 76,103 in depreciation. That's a huge difference. And that's why cost segregations could be very valuable to you. That additional depreciation in the first year due to the cost segregation study is 39,739. Remember, we talked about the taxpayer. Given the taxpayer had an AGI of 350000 the couple will fall into a 24% marginal tax bracket. So tax savings 
with the cost segregation study could save you an additional $9,537.36. That's real money in your pocket. That's the money you would get as a refund if you've already paid money in as a W-2 earner, then you would have this as ordinary income because you are doing short-term rental. Now let's take an example, the same information as above, same taxpayer, but he's doing a residential rental for long-term rental and there is not a short-term rental and they are not a real estate professional. So because the taxpayer is not a real estate professional, the ability to deduct the additional depreciation from a cost segregation study is limited due to the passive activity losses. Under the passive activity losses, there is an active participation exception. If the taxpayer actively participates in managing the property, they can deduct up to 25% of passive losses against non-passive income. So that would be the ordinary income from your W-2. But this phase out begins at an AGI of 100,000 and completely is phased out when you reach 150,000. So that means this taxpayer making 350,000 in AGI would not qualify if they're doing long-term rental. But it's not loss. The passive loss does carry over. It's only uh, disallowed and you can roll it over in future passive income periods or deduct when the property is sold. Again, in this situation, the cost segregation additional depreciation would have been 39739 but the taxpayer is limited because they make over the $150,000 AGI and they are not real estate professionals, but it's not lost because they can use it in future years. So hopefully this helps identify the benefits of cost segregation, real monies on what be in your pocket and the difference if you have a long-term rental versus a short, and it depends on your AGI for the tax year. The next steps Consult with the real estate focused tax advisor to really ensure you're saving and it aligns with your overall strategy because maybe if you are long term rental, it may work with your strategy because you may plan to buy a short term rental in the near future. Why not take that cost segregation now and then you'll be able to utilize it against passive. So make sure it's not a one time situation tax planning really involves looking at various years and what your goals are over that time period then you would hire a professional that engages in cost segregation working with a real estate focused tax advisor they can refer someone to you that understands and they've worked with and they and they know that they have a great relationship on helping with the cost segregation studies then there's a certain form a form 3115 to request that change in accounting method and that's very important that you need to do that and that's why you need to work with a real estate focused tax advisor where do i go from here tax advisory services a little higher investment but in exchange we work directly with you to grow your wealth over a period of a year or longer so that's the plan where i'm actually looking at your situation developing okay you need a llc you need an s corp I'm gonna look at your tax deductions. Okay, where are you missing? We may need to go back three years. So my investment, what I'm saying is an investment could really be money in your pocket because I'm gonna save you money. Plus we may go back some years and get you some money because you have losses in some years and gains in others. Thank you. Mm -hmm.